Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about estimating in division. But first off, let's make sure we know why we wanted to estimate in division. Estimating is only useful if you're being lazy. Now, I love to be lazy because it makes it a lot easier for me. But if it's making it harder for you, if estimating is making it harder for you, don't use this method. This is only a method that you should use if it happens to make it easier for you. Let's look at some examples of ways that we might estimate in division. So I'm going to give a problem and we'll see if we can estimate to come up with our answer. Let's say, for example, that I have 260 that I'd like to divide by 5. 260 divided by 5. Well, we could actually work this out and we could actually try to solve it, but I'd rather estimate to get an idea of around where it is. So I'm going to look at this 5 and I'm going to think about if I count by 5s, do I see any numbers up here that are close to what I'll get? If I count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, wait a second, at the front here I see 26. 26 is between 25 and 30. So I know that this answer is going to be somewhere between where if I had 250 divided by 5 and if I had 300 divided by 5. It'll be somewhere in the middle. But how does that help me? Well, it helps me because I can think about basic math facts. 25 divided by 5 is a lot easier than 250 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 is going to give us 5. And then left over, I have this 0. So this 0 has to come down here, and it hangs out at the end. So that's going to be somewhere around 50. Here, 30 divided by 5 is going to give us 6. And I have this extra 0 that's going to come down. So I've got 60. That means my answer for this problem up here has got to be somewhere between 50 and 60. Because 260 is somewhere between 250 and 300, my answer has to be somewhere between 50 and 60. All I did is I changed it into a math fact that was a little bit easier for me, and then the extra zeros, I carried those over to the far side. Think in your head for a second. Do you think that our answer is going to be closer to 50 or closer to 60? Think in your head. I think our answer is going to be closer to 50 because 260 is closer to 250 than it is to 300. And sure enough, if I divide it out, my actual answer will be 52. So it was closer to 50, but it was still within our range. 50 or 60 both would have been decent answers for us to guess. Let's try another one. What if instead of having that, I had a two-digit number? What if I had, I've got 1, 3, 5, 3, divided by 6, 0. Or I've got 1,353 divided by 60. If I try this, 60 is not something that's easy for me to count by. So instead, I'm going to change this into thinking about it like a 6 and a 0. So I can think about 6s, and I can think in my head and count through the 6s. 6, 12, 18. Well, the first part of this, 13, is between 12 and 18. So I can use either of those as a way of estimating. I'm going to use 12 as my estimate. 12 here, and then I have these extra things that I'm going to estimate are zeros. Now when I do my division, I just think about the simple math fact of 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 gives me 2. So I've got 2. But what do I do with these extra zeros? Well, one of these zeros I'm trying to divide away, so I get to cancel off one of these zeros. But the other zero still has to come down to the other side. 
And now I've got my estimate of around 20. There's an estimate for us. All we did is we canceled out some zeros. Let's try another one. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 154 divided by 22. Okay, 22 is not gonna be easy for us to count by. Let's change this 22 and let's pretend that it's actually just a two and a zero. Then we can count by twos and we can get an idea around 154. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. That's a little bit less than 15 or 16. So I could estimate this either as a 14 and an extra zero divided by 20, or I could estimate this as a 16 with an extra zero and divided by 20. Let's see how that works. I know 14 divided by two is gonna give us seven, and I have these extra zeros. This one is gonna cancel off that one. Here, I see 16 divided by two, that's gonna give me eight, and I have the extra zeros, that's gonna cancel it out. So I end up with eight. That means my answer is probably somewhere between seven and eight. All we're doing there is we're changing them into numbers that we like a little bit better. Let's try another one. This time I want you to try it, okay? I've got two, three, six, five, divided by, we're going to divide this by 58. So I want you to try estimating. You should try estimating. Remember, your estimate may not be the exact same as mine, and that's okay. Go ahead and pause the video and try it now. Okay, when I estimate, estimate this, I look at 58 and I say, that would be really hard to count by. 58 is close to 60 though, which I can pretend is a six and a zero. So I'm gonna estimate it and say this is close to 60. Then I'm gonna look at this one and I'm gonna say, okay, let me count by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24. That looks kind of like the first part of this. 23 is pretty close to 24. So I'm gonna pretend this is 24 and some extra zeros. You get extra zeros to replace the six and the five. Now I'm going to divide it. 24 divided by six, that's an easy thing for us to do. That's gonna give us four. Then I have to figure out how many zeros I've got left over. One zero got divided away, and the other one ends up down here, and my estimate is 40. How'd you do? Is your estimate close to mine? If not, go back and try it again. See if you get an estimate that's closer to mine. Let's try one more. For our last one, let's try a more simple one. Let's say I've got 200. 28 that I'd like to divide by 21. Go ahead and pause the video and try this by yourself. When you're done, unpause it and come back. See it, see how it did. Okay, when I look at this one, I look at the 21 and I say that would be hard to count by. Instead, I'm gonna pretend that this is a two with an extra zero on there, like a 20, which is pretty close to 21. Then I'm gonna count by twos and I'm gonna say, wait a second, I see at the front 22. I know that two times 11 is 22. So I'm gonna call this 22 and an extra zero. 22 and an extra zero. Now I can do my division. When I do my division, 22 divided by two gives us 11 and my zeros are gonna cancel out. One zero is getting canceled out and one zero is getting canceled out. So I know my answer is somewhere around 11. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be somewhere close to 11. How'd you do? All right, I hope this helped with estimating, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.